Joni D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on Day Shift, starring Jamie Foxx, Dave Franco, and Snoop Dogg. It's a vampire hunting movie. Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's what? It's the Pioneers books one through nine. Available at Amazon.com. Uh, if you like a movie like Day Shift, I think you would like the Pioneers. Jesus, Joan. What the hell? Are you okay? Are you okay? All right. I told you to get a drink. All right. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Can can I continue? Seriously. What? It's all right. Just calm down. Uh, gross. Anyhow, Jamie Foxx is a vampire hunter. Uh, in this sequence, he poses as the pool guy to go into a place where he shoots an old lady, but it turns out she's actually a vampire. See, there she is. Oh, what? Here, come over here. Come over here and sit on my lap and try to calm down. Try to calm down, okay? All right? Calm? Okay? Yeah, you're calm. See the vampire? Very scary. Anyhow, he's part of a union <laughs> and uh, of vampire hunters, but it's a weird plot. Like, And then he, he kills the vampire and he takes the fang in order to prove he killed the vampire. And I guess that's part of the union thing. And uh, I don't know what this represents. I guess he lost all his money or he got fired because he had incidents and then Snoop Dogg is his friend and uh, gets him back in the union because he needs to hunt vampires to keep his um, uh, daughter because he's divorced and his wife is moving away uh, Dave Franco plays the new guy uh, or the guy he saves and then pisses his pants and that's a big laugh He's the comic relief. He's not bad. He reminds me a lot of his brother. Uh, there's Snoop Dogg holding a Gatling gun, shooting up a, I don't know, department store. So there's a lot of scenes with gunfights and vampires. I'm not sure the sunlight doesn't seem to affect them. This, for this movie, for the vampires, I guess, maybe it makes them weak, but it doesn't, like, burn them up. Uh, so August 12th at Netflix... I mean, I have Netflix, so, you know, I'll probably watch it because I do like vampire movies. I'm not so sure about Snoop Dogg in a movie, though, but Jamie Foxx is okay. He's pretty good. Dave Franco I, I, I like. I think he's uh, he's pretty good. Um, he's he's very much the veteran. It's, it's almost like vampire hunting is a little too casual in this movie. Uh, oddly enough, not sure if that's going to help it or hurt it. I feel like it's going to hurt it. You know? I feel like uh, downplaying the vampires in a vampire movie, I mean, I get the comedic aspect of that, but for two hours? I don't know about that. Like, if they're as common as, uh, I don't know, cockroaches. What, what the hell is up with you? We just went walkies, and this is the thanks I get. All right, go ahead. Get a drink of water again. Get a drink of water or relax. Okay, she just wants to lay on her cushion. Oh, this is what I have to live with. Um, so, I don't know, comedy-wise, when I saw the teaser, I, I really liked it. Now that I'm seeing the plot, the full plot, it doesn't seem that funny. And because they're, they're doing this bit where he's in a union of vampire hunters... It's not feeling as special. You know what I mean? Like, vampire hunting to me should be this, like, pretty unique thing. Shouldn't be, like, so casual. Oh, yeah, we got a union and we, we kill vampires. Like, that's too casual. <laughs> that, that kind of undoes the, the, you know, specialness of the, the vampire. You know what I mean? So, I don't know if this could work. Maybe it could work for a movie. Definitely not a series. Maybe that's what they're going for. You know, down the road. Um, 
it kind of looks fun. You know, the gunplay looks good. Here's what it says. Jamie Foxx stars as a hard-working blue-collar dad who just wants to provide a good life for his quick-witted daughter. But his mundane San, Fran San Fernando Valley pool cleaning job is a front for the real source of his income. Hunting and killing vampires is part of an international union of vampire hunters. Okay, maybe, maybe, if it's not, you know, international union, okay, maybe. Maybe if there's not that many. Maybe if he's like the only one of like two or three in L.A. So, um, Snoop Dogg and the cowboy hat, eh. You know, I'm not as impressed with Snoop Dogg as I would have been, say, ten years ago if he was in a movie. He looks like he's trying to act, so that's something. Jamie Foxx can act, so that's, that's good. David Franco's to me, got the most energy in this. He's, you know, as the comic relief, he's really trying to, you know. But Jamie Foxx just seems to be there. I'm not seeing a tremendous amount of acting. He is a good actor, though, so maybe it's just the trailer. I mean, the action does look pretty good. The makeup looks good. Doesn't look like a low-budget affair at all. So, I'd see it. August 12th. So first act, hmm, I would say he's either already out of the union or we see the incident that gets him kicked out of the union. Maybe he, or maybe he's doing vampire hunting freelance <laughs> for people somehow, whoever's paying him. Uh, his wife is moving away and he desperately needs to get back in the union in order to make a living and thereby I don't know getting some rights with his daughter which which like that I don't want to see that part of it I just want to see the vampire hunting do we have to get bogged down in that anyhow so the second act is he has to uh, train Dave Franco I guess to be a vampire hunter and Snoop Dogg is there and they kill a bunch of vampires leading up to something. Not seeing it in the trailer. And that worries me. That worries me because normally there's a moment in a trailer like this where it's like, this isn't a regular vampire, right? Or so-and-so is back. Like something like that. It doesn't appear to be a big villain in this. So, you know, unless they pull the old, oh no, the entire union's been wiped out except you and Snoop Dogg, and, or Snoop Dogg betrayed everybody. Ah, I betrayed you because, you know, the vampires paid me so much money and now they're going to run things. It's inevitable. Just accept it. <laughs> uh, maybe. I mean, that would be a cop out. And they're like the last two vampire hunters, then that would sort of undermine the entire premise. Like, maybe if you do the whole international union of vampire hunters that have been around for, you know, 15 or 500 years or 200 years or whatever, maybe you can make that work. I'm not seeing the history here, though. I'm not seeing a moment like that. I'm just seeing the typical, like, he's a vampire hunter, so he's not bothered by it. Dave Franco is the new guy, so he's totally bothered by everything. Snoop Dogg is armed to the teeth, so he's also a guy not bothered by vampires. I mean, there's not. where's the story here? So I'm a little underwhelmed by this. That being said, I do have Netflix. It's not going to cost me anything to watch it. So August 12th, yeah, I might watch it. I like vampire movies. I like these kinds of movies. I like Jamie Foxx. I could tolerate Snoop Dogg. I'm, I'm, Dave Franco's growing on me. So overall, yeah, I'll watch it. If I miss it, I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to like, oh, no, I missed it. <laughs> 
I'm just going to be like, oh, yeah, I forgot to watch that, which is probably what's going to happen. Anyhow, uh, that's my story, and that's me, Tony D, and little Joan, who, man, I, I take her out for a walk, and this is the thanks I get. Uh, check us out at Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our more base takes. We do four videos a day, at least. At least. So check out, especially the Hollywood Cod take, and we'll see you in the next one.